hello everyone this is Rajiv Kohli and welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial I will teach you some basic Microsoft Word table commands and for example we will take this list of behavior goals document and you can see the design here and we will try to replicate the same again so when you have this kind of document open and the first thing you can notice here when inside this at the first line here the first thing you can notice this icon here so this icon represent that you are inside a table and if you click this icon here then the entire table will get selected so the another thing is that when you are at the first line you can also notice in the ribbon that there are two new tabs here table design and layout and all the table related commands are available under these two tabs so the first thing when you have opened someone else file like your colleagues file and you want to see that how he has designed this entire document using tables and how which uh, borders has he has made hidden then you can go to the layout tab and then click on the view grid lines and then you will have a complete design I am using control and scroll from the mouse to zoom in and zoom out and now you can see the entire design and the dotted uh, borders are indicating that those borders are hidden and if I turn off the view grid lines option from the layout tab then you can see the exact design that is going to be print so if I press control P then you can see the exact preview which is without the hidden borders and here I also have this document here which is printed on A4 worksheet so we will try to replicate the same in Microsoft Word again and that way you will learn a few new commands along with that so I will press Control N key to open a new document and here you can see the view of the ruler which is around 11 inches and there is no vertical ruler that means the layout of the page is not as we want it so if you look at the bottom here in the status bar then you can see that currently we have the web layout so to make a printout of this document we need to work in print layout and that is the most common layout which is used when creating documents in Microsoft Word so let me show you that uh, table again and if you turn on the view grid line so again then you can notice that it, he has taken five columns instead of three and two extra columns in the middle of these three columns are very small and they has been used to put a gap between the borders so later after creating the table these particular second and fourth column are made hidden so that is what you will learn also so let me move to the new document and here I will insert a new table by going to the insert tab and then click table and either you can uh, choose the layout of the table from these ready-made columns and rows here like if you want a 5 by 5 table then you can just click here let me undo this or if you want a bigger table then you can again go to insert tab click table and then choose insert table and here you can specify the number of column and rows so for column we need five columns and for the number of rows we need ten rows click OK and there you have the uh, table according to the dimensions of your page so to check the dimension we must go to the layout tab and click on this size and here you can see that I have already set the page to A4 and orientation is portrait because this page is portrait we have taken the printout in portrait mode uh, that is called the landscape if you see any file like this that is called landscape and you must change the ori orientation from the layout tab to landscape before inserting the table you must configure the paper size orientation and margins before inserting the table so this is a very small table and has been covered within the A4 page size so we don't need to adjust anything else so we have taken the A4 page orientation is portrait and margins are normal 
and you can see the margins on the left right top and bottom of the page so margins are normal one one inch from all the four sides so now I will uh, type the text and will use the commands from the layout tab like for the first row I will select the first five cell of the first row and will go to the layout tab and will click on the merge cells that way it will remove all the borders and will make this one single cell and now I can start typing my heading here the dictionary in this Microsoft Word version has been set to uh, India so that is why it is saying that behavior spellings are wrong when I click on this it says you must add you in behavior so it's up to you if you want to go with the, if you want to ignore then you can cl click on ignore all button or you can click on the suggested word so for the next line I can press the enter key and that way it will add an extra line and will increase the height of the row again I will add you in the behavior now I need to type the rest of the text and I will leave the second column blank first I will complete the first row and then I will start adjusting the width of the columns so I will adjust the column width from this line here I will hold it down and then drag and drop to decrease the size so first I will decrease the size of second and the fourth column and now I will start increasing the size of first column and sorry I will increase the size from top within from the ruler because we have a much row on top of these columns so we have to change the a column width from the ruler above and if you don't see the ruler you can turn it on from the view tab by making a check mark on the ruler so I will adjust the width so it seem equal and here I can adjust this one as well so now I will type rest of the text it is uh, good to avoid the avoid using the mouse again and again so first I have written the first row with the text and adjusted the columns now I will completely type the entire text and then we'll start formatting this table so the third row and you must uh, increase your typing speed if you want to make an impression and that way you will also accomplish your task quickly if you have a good typing speed and a positive attitude so if you want to practice then I will include the downloading of this document in the video description you can download it from my website I am using the tab key to move to the next column and you can see that now I am only using the keyboard and typing the text and later I will start formatting it and that way you will uh, seeing a increase in your typing speed if you avoid using mouse again and again and that is the best way to increase your speed without even using a typing master and there is we have the last line and I think I have inserted an extra row and later we will delete that
now first I will delete the extra row the tenth row and for that I will go to the layout tab click the delete drop down button and choose delete row now to adjust this table I will also adjust this first column from the ruler and will make this entire table in the center of the page so now it's look good from both of side left and right now I need to increase the size row height of the uh, second column to uh, sorry now I need to increase the size of the rows from the second row to tenth row and for that I will select all these row will go to the layout tab and will start increasing the height from the cell size section so you can zoom out to see that how much page in the height has been covered and so that way you can decide that how much height you want to apply so I think that is good and now in the layout tab you can also find the alignment section and here you have nine buttons using which you can align the text inside the cells so we have already selected all the cells in the five columns and nine rows so I will click on this center and that way it will align this text in the center and middle of the each cell each selected cell so that is what we want and I uh, will also make it bolder now we'll zoom in and for zoom in and zoom out you can hold down the control key and use this mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out so for the headers I will select the headers will make them in the center bolder and will increase the size that's good now I will go to the table design you can select a particular cell by moving to the left bottom uh, corner of that cell and then when you see this black arrow then you can click that way it will get selected the particular cell will get selected like this that's an easy way to select a cell and now I will go to table design shading and will fill a black color so as soon as I fill the black color you can see that the font color has automatically been changed to black that is because if you have noticed that in the font section the default uh, font is set to automatic not black even though you when you type you see the black color but the default color setting is automatic so that is why when you have the black foreground color then it automatically change the font color to white so if you want to increase the height of this row here then you can do this by holding it right from here and increase the height or you can also go to the layout tab and you can increase the height from the cell size section so as we have increased the height we can set it to the center and middle for both of these line and we have one row on the second page so either you can decrease the height of this row or you can decrease the top and bottom margins and for the margins if you don't want to decrease the height of the rows then you can go to the layout tab click on margins and as we have already set the normal margin where we have one one inch from all the four sides of the page so I will go to the custom margin and here I will reduce the top and bottom margin and will set them to half inch hit the ok key and see if it adjusts the last row which was on table uh, page 2 to page 1 so now we have the entire table adjusted on page 1 and it look nice from all the four sides that equal page has been leaved so I will try to increase a little bit the height of the entire table so the final part is to hide the border of the second and the fourth column so we have a gap between the first third and fifth column so for that I will select this second column and we don't want the left right and the middle borders so I will select the second entire column and will go to the layout tab and will go to 
sorry table design tab I will go to table design tab and will click on borders border and shading and here I will remove the left right and middle border from the preview section of borders and hit the OK key and now I will do this the same on the fifth column I will select the entire fifth column except for the first row and will press the F4 key to repeat the last command and that way it will remove the same borders again so now we have our design complete and if you press Control P then you can see the preview and escape key to go back to the document and as we have this entire uh, layout ready you can also go to the layout tab and turn on the view grid lines and here you can see the entire design but if you press Control P then you will only see those borders which are going to be printed so I hope you will like this tutorial let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video and you can also subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks a lot for watching bye and take care